Hi friends, my name is Bharat D, URK 20 CS 2113. Uh, we are going to see a uh, program in software engineering. The question for the program is to draw a U UML use case diagram for online voting system. We are going to draw a use case diagram for online voting system. Uh, there are the descriptions. The first description given here is the actor. Actor, actor is one of the main source involved in the process. He is uh, explained or defined using a stick diagram. Which is, uh, which is used to mention a people or main course like that. Then comes the use case uh, where, it is be, uh, where it is functionally provided by the system and typically described as verb plus object. This use case diagram used as an eclipse. It uh, describes a particular area or which, which can be typed inside an eclipse. Then comes the association. Association is a path or a road to link between uh, eclipse and the actor they act as a bridge they explain how they are connected and how they work this is the work of the association then comes the extent use uh, say include use case includes the direct relationship between two use cases called which is used to show the behavior of the included use case then comes the extent extent is a direct relationship that specifies how and when the behavior is defined usually supplement uh, supplementary extending use case to be inserted into the behavior defined in the extended use case uh, then comes the scenario of the application i've explained how this uh, diagram has been worked in the scenario of the application i will explain you with the diagram this is the e-voting system uh, this is the diagram uh, for this following program there are three main actors one is system administrator the other one is the voter the other one is the polling officer the first one, uh, the first main uh, actor is the voter. Then comes the polling of, uh, then comes the uh, system administrator, and then the polling officer. The, how this program works is first the administrator checks where are the elections to be done and where are the vacancies of elections to be done, and the system administrator sets up an election setup where uh, he where he finds where which are the places to be the elections to be held. Then the election setup, after the election setup, he adds eligible voters in the offices. After, after the election setup is done, we need to check how many eligible voters are there uh, and uh, how many can uh, vote and how many cannot vote. That work is also done by the system administrator. Uh, then comes the ba ballot monitoring. Ballot monitoring is done, done by the polling officer. Uh, uh, because system administrator can't do that work bec uh, uh, because he had to he, his work is to do the election setup etc that's all but the polling officer's work is to do ballot monitoring check the ballots how the ballots work he also does uh, tally tally checking uh, profile editing registration registration of the voter and other etc works and uh, then comes the voter the three main parts three main parts or three main works for the voter are First one is authentication, registration, profile editing. First, the voter registers. If the uh, the registration is being done, he can proceed. If the registration is invalid or something is wrong, he need to edit his profile. After the edit uh, is done, it will be given to authentication. If the authentication, if the system administrator accepts the authentication and if he says you are good to go or if you are clear, then it goes to the voter and he starts voting and the vote verification will be done and, and the vote will be displayed. This is how the e-voting system is done. And uh, these are uh, these are the func functionalities of the class used. Uh, there are main, main, three main actors: system administrator, voter, and polling officer. Uh, it uh, it defines what are their processes and what are their works to do. And this is how this uh, project is done. Thank you.